Okay, this is 3.1, implicit differentiation. And first let's explain it. So explicit form is what we've been seeing up to now, y equals f of x, y is a function in terms of x. And we call this clearly defined Implicit form is not readily apparent, not quite understood, not directly apparent. So we're going to start off with an example and do it both ways. So e easily enough. So this is directly or explicitly, and this is implicitly. So what we do here is we're gonna treat y as a function of x. We can see it is, we just did it. y is a function of x. And then we're gonna use the chain rule when we come across it. So let's do it. So on the left, we use the product rule. And on the right, it's the derivative of a constant, which is zero. Again, we're gonna take the derivative of x in terms of y, y is in terms of x, so we chain rule it. That's how you can think of it. Or you can see d dx of, dy, of y is dy dx, or you wanna think of it as one times dy dx, however you wanna think about it. Chain rule dy dx dx dx, the derivative of x in terms of x is 1. You could also think of it as dx dx, which has, turns to 1 also. Either way. Now, we were wanting to find dy dx, so we solve for dy dx. So there's our answer, and it's not wrong just because it doesn't match the first method. If we want to, we can do some more work to match the first method. You can't always get it all in terms of x. Usually you have to use implicit differentiation because you can't solve for y in terms of x. But in this case, we can. We can use, we know y is 1 over x from above because xy equals 1. So again, we're just replacing y, and that's minus 1 over x squared, which is the same as above. Okay, let's do another one. Again, we want d dx of both sides. So it's 2x... The derivative of this is minus 4y, but again, we have to chain rule it. y is in terms of x, so it's d dx of y, or just dy dx, 4 times dy dx. Now, if this helps you, this is what you, you can do if you don't want to forget it. So this is chain rule, right? This is an inside function that we don't know. The derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. 4 is the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. So if you want, you can think of, we can do that with d dx also, of x squared, our first term here. But it's in terms of x, so you can do the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside, dx of the inside, which is still 2x. So the chain rule there becomes x in terms of x, which is just 1. So there's no chain ruling x. We never did before, <laughs> but if that helps you to remember it, if you do it every single time, 
just got to practice this. So now we have to solve for dy dx. I make sure I get all the dy dx's on one side. If it doesn't have it a dy dx in it, I put it on the other. So that's what I'm doing here. I subtracted these to the right. So now that all the terms on the right have a dy dx, I can factor it out and then divide by what I don't want. It looks like we could factor out a tooth from there and we're done. So since this is the same problem, we want to find the slope of the tangent line at 3, 0. It's the slope, is the derivative evaluated at that point. The point is right here. Since it's implicit, we need both variables, x equals 3 and y equals 0. So since we have the answer right here, same one. So my m. My slope of my tangent line at that point is minus 3 halves. Okay, so now we want to find the second derivative using implicit differentiation. We have to find the first derivative first. Again, if you want to Take the chain rule, it would be dx dx, which is just one. Chain rule dy dx, because it's in terms of x, and equals 7. That's my first derivative. I'll have to use the quotient rule. Sixteen y squared on the bottom. You've got to square both. Now, we have dy dx in our formula for a second derivative because we had to chain rule the 4y. It's 4 times the deriv derivative of the inside. But we do know what dy dx is equal to. It's 3x over 4y. So I do just want to clear this fraction because I have a fraction within a fraction. So we'll multiply top and bottom by 4y. And distribute it. But you have to be aware of these problems because it can get very frustrating. Let's write down the original. This one. And if we notice 3 minus 3x squared, 3x squared, 4x squared, if I multiply both sides by a negative, that's the same, which is this. Divide top and bottom by 4. Okay, that's the answer. That's my second derivative. Okay, one more, and then we'll call it a day. Implicit plus its chain rule. The derivative of the outside, we keep that intact, times the derivative of the inside. So now all we have left is busy algebra work. So since this is buried in there, we are going to have to distribute this. If it has a dy dx, bring it over here, factor it out, divide by what you don't want, okay? I would probably just factor it out at the same time, but I'm just trying to show the work for you. Put this in common, factor it out. Don't forget there's a one, because there's two terms. We need a placeholder of one. So we're trying to solve for dy dx. Let's divide out by what we don't want. That's why we factored it out. There's a product now. And there's our answer. Okay, thanks for watching. Till next time.